I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Meaning you. Yeah. You Those guys need to get a room. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Ah, perfect place for me to work. Now what to draw? Hey, kids! Free candy. I'm sorry, officer. It says what on the side of my RV?
Some say the world will end in fire. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. A second door inside. So close, and yet so far. This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. I'd join a motorcycle gang if I had any friends. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. Help you, miss? You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? Got it. Again? What do you want, kid? I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Is it past your bedtime? Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid, because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you, with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle, shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You're... You're not accepting no for an answer. 
Mm. Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yeah. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. This is intense! <laughs> Shit! Hey, Delia! Come! Cute dog. Follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. That dog is fierce. What's her name? Delia. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? Yeah, I mean... This place is bomb. Yeah, no shit. This car could slide down any minute. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I'm Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I've explained it to you. All right, it, it's not going to take any more than an hour to do it. I can't hear you. Talk louder, please. Okay, good. That's exactly what we need. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna sell out. This place is mobbed. Okay, good. Right, well, that would help. No. No, 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 no. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Frank Bowers? What is he doing here? Yo, Frank! Hey! Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. So, you come here a lot, or...? Yeah. Right. It's cool. I'm really glad you approve. Okay, so, you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. How about you spot me some? You know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. I learned my lesson last time. Money first. Never mind, then. <sighs> Suit yourself. No thanks. I try to avoid hepatitis, but I can't. Classy. Reminds 
reminds me of the way I make important life choices. Don't you judge me, spooky deer head. I'm here for the band. Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. That's exactly what we need, thank you. Sketch Central. Three hundred dock workers laid off, their pensions canceled? God, Prescott's a real tool. taking drink more feel less yes please how can you just chill when firewalk is tearing it up in the next room Is that guy selling merch? I can't hear you. Wish I had some cash. Can you talk louder? Hey, are you selling 20 any- 20 bucks. What? 20 bucks for a t-shirt. That's really expensive, dick. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I'm explaining. That shirt is rad. No, 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 no. Hey, I told you 20 bucks. You looking to get beat? That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? I can't hear you. Can you talk louder, please? Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. No, 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 no! Come on! Thanks for playing, Dick. Oh, yeah! Sweet, sweet victory. That's like... 200 bucks. Holy shit, I'm rich. Nothing sadder than a neglected bomb. Turns. About that weed. Uh, here it comes. 
toss in a dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey! What are you waving all this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So, where's my pop? No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. Now beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. I'll see you later. Whatever. from up above. If I want to see the band, I'll have to find another way. Those guys are trouble. She returns. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon Merrick? I see you've heard of him. This is his place. Damon's a friend of mine. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. Real helpful, Frank. I mean, will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? Floor above's rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. I'll see you later. Whatever. Good enough. 
enough. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer. I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you?
listening to Arcadia Bay's very own 87.9 FM, The Seder, bringing you the very latest music, news, and other, well, you know, radio type stuff. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Hey Max. Hey Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you.
Calling. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon. Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Man, I am killing it this year. Somehow I don't think mom's going to feel the same way. 87.9 FM The Seder is supported by listeners like you. So feel free to donate money if you want to. Anytime. Literally any amount. We'll take it. Yeah, no one needs to see that. Thank you. I'd like to think my humor has improved with age. Better living through chemistry. I'm perfectly capable of waking up without you, you know. Eventually. Wake and bake is part of a healthy breakfast. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? One of these days, I'm actually going to use you to do my homework. Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Wait, what? Who? What photo? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. No more unicorns. No more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Nothing like a fresh start. Words of wisdom, don't fail me now. Everything's worth a shot.
Adapt or die. Fun fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Max gave me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Fire Rock last night. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong, and it was awesome. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. How do I want to express my teenage angst today? Can't leave without my vitamins. Speaking of Firewalk, heard it through the grapevine they had an impromptu concert on the edge of town last night. Uh, you were there. I really should get going. Tomorrow night, don't miss out on Blackwell Academy's latest theatrical offering, an adaptation of Shakespeare's The Tempest. Umbrella's optional, folks. And now, more music from your favorite music source, leave 7.9 Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair's his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of Arcadia Bay. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pawn. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. I made this for mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. 
I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. <laughs> Dad, if you could see us now. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. I should call my phone. Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. I want Mom to be happy, but not like this. Not like this! Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie better. It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Ugh, I drank way too much last night. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed.
Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. David's here so early. Mom calls him just a friend, but look at him. He's pretending he didn't just spend the night. And you never saw the condoms, Chloe. You never saw the condoms. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Joyce Price, AKA Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Mom's purse is pretty heavy. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. from when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. 
It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so nobody's fault, really. Made that for Mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't Mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made Mom. Like his home, maybe? Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Haven't really felt like sitting down to eat since David started having dinner here. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. 
Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and- if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. I can't take any more arguing today. Go give David his keys. Almost wish I could slip Mom cash. If I had any cash to slip. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going.
What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. No. School's hardly worth walking to. No love for Chloe. Does Max picture me pathetically checking this mailbox every two seconds for letters that never come? No. School's hardly worth walking to. No. School's hardly worth walking to. Mom should date literally anyone else. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Damn. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. By toolbox, did David mean this, or did he mean himself? There's his stupid socket wrench set. <sighs> Let's get the shit show over with. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. <sighs> See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right.
fine. Whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Then I hope you're a better plumber than you are a mechanic. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. Leave mom out of this. This is about you and me and you being an asshole. I was in the army. You will respect me. You're not my father. You're not even on the same planet as my father. My job is to make sure you and your mother have a safe and peaceful home. Do I come to your place of employment and... Oh, that's right. You don't have one. If you were a man, I... It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. This isn't right. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Thank you. 
That sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking do you want to go together tomorrow? No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. Alright. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Ugh, Nathan in tights. Can't unsee. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Not for now. It's nice that Elliot always wants to do stuff with me. I just haven't been in the doing stuff mood lately. See you in class.
I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. Hey, price check. Gotten in any good trouble lately? Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Oh, no shit. I thought that place was like, meth central. My cousin met this hooker there, Whatever. It was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. <laughs> All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw a firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. You can't judge a girl by the elitist fascist school her mother makes her go to, you know? <laughs> I get that. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, okay. Great.
What did you think? That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Miss Grant, the least lame teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. Morning, Miss Grant. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate, as always. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerd. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, to each their own. Uh, but fire's so pretty. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Something's definitely missing from that totally blank wall. Ladies and gentlemen, Principal Wells. I wonder if Wells is going to appreciate my art. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups, like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? 
Nah, fuck that. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell. Swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. Principal Wells. Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana-flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. It was more of a saunter. Do I look amused to you? I don't know. I've only seen you with one expression. That's the one. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. And yet, if my olfactory sense does not fail me, I'd say you've recently been exposed to marijuana smoke. Shit. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah, so you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Oh, I get it. Because your name is Wells, right? You go around all day just hoping for an opportunity to make well references? This must be a big moment for you. Jokes? In my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. How did you become principal without learning the Constitution? The Fourth Amendment? A legal search and seizure? We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. I wonder if the Prescotts might reconsider their donation if Blackwell's principal is being sued for harassment. How do you know about the Prescott donation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? I'm sure we uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Oh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny, 
Just a couple years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. Huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. The future needs excellence. The future's an asshole. Ugh. Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Ah, Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though, I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was... Fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and, uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey! Thanks, Carrie. No problem. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Ah, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knob cone again. No. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. 
I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. How seriously am I taking this right now? There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. Who wouldn't understand? Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Oh, what the hell. Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raider's training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go?
Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Damn! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. I knee him. Right in the orc balls. Success. The orc clutches his groin, never to father children again. Ouch. Your turn again, Chloe. I do a pummel strike. I strike his pummel hard. <laughs> um... What did I say? A pummel is the end of a sword handle. Pummel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. This sucks. It's all right. Try using your- You've delayed too long. The orc swings his warhammer at your head, barely missing your move. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon? No, it's Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgeron, much taller and meaner than you. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. But... Uh, 
dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Awesome. Yeah, go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows, ha 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 Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds hear me nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? <laughs> oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh. Brilliant! You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Twenty! Fuck yes! You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame! Oh, snap! Lying on the ground, 
you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon! Durgaron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah, I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Samantha Myers, school wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyta's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? It's funny. Uh, the title's actually a play on the song, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? And that's funny? It is if you're the wolf. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. I love flowers. F this makes being high sound like a bad thing. Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. I would sacrifice a goat to Jeremiah Blackwell himself if it meant I'd be leaving here in a month. What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The 
only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> Did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. Oh, good. You're here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. 
Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. <laughs> that actually kinda helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Hey now. Sharing is caring. This poster definitely says <laughs> something. To internet or not to internet. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Sweet caller, Pepe. Should be life is drama. Must be a hundred costumes in here. Am I the only student who's not in this show? That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Rachel looks so happy here.
There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Save my life. Get some ink. Definitely an improvement. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Rachel, is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class? You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. Let's get the hell out of here. Sure, you don't want to just grab the bus or. Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Chair Price, the view's amazing. Rachel wants.
Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Whoa, <laughs> Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. There's my chair. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Just another typical day, skipping school with Rachel Amber. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Everybody lies. I like that. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. It's great to take a stand, but right now I should sit down next to Rachel. There's my chair. All right, Chloe, you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Uh, <laughs> so, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people. Yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun.
V-card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. Okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So... Which is the lie? You seem more like a Cali girl than me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Uncle Swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Like you said. Arr. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. That place is a hellhole filled with shit where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. 
But I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. His name was Bongo. It was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Oh my god, of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year. <laughs> Definitely. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. No, I mean you're really good at this game. It's kind of creepy. I have a hard time imagining what creeps Chloe Price out. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. I wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen?
gold bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! Actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got.
The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it. Looks like this one might actually be working. That is the look of a person who is used to getting what she wants. Wonder what that feels like. Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? This whole day is out of order. But in the best possible way. Rachel's quarter is still trapped in there, waiting to be set free. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Fuck you, Dwight. Was this how historic axe murderers searched for their next victim? Stop sextanting the interns. This Blackwall guy sure liked founding stuff that was already there. Founders keepers, I guess. Yuck. Cliché much, A.W. and B.W.? Just a day in the park with Rachel Amber. You know when something kind of amazing is happening, you don't always stop to think about it right away? And then when you do think about it, you start thinking about it a lot. And the more you think about it, the crazier it seems until pretty soon you're psyching yourself out and then everything turns to shit. Yeah, let's not do that today.
If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost or some shit. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. This trash can is in pretty high demand. Bye, you fools. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Wait, is that the same AW as before? Not afraid of commitment, I see. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Wow, that's badass. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. There's gotta be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. If you're going to argue in public, at least have the decency to make it about something interesting. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh, she's right there. What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. Press got power, activate. I win. That was enough of a game for me. Your MacGyver skills are second to none. Except for...
probably MacGyver. Rachel smells like Jasmine. Is she smelling me right now too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during like every class. See, you're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? <laughs> no matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's going on with these two? One son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Boom! <laughs> Jackpot! Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey. I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. I don't know. I might still be hungover from last night. Wrong answer. You don't ask a girl out and then, and then not buy her a drink. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> Oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Oh, 
thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look closer. In the meantime, I'll search for the booze. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? Rachel, run! What the hell? So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No. I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! Ugh. Uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score.
Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? I mean, fuck, are you actually going to make me say it? Say what exactly? You know, like a friendship but more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just, today was the best day I've had since, since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize whatever's going on between us is special. Come on, say something. Chloe, I, I, you know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. She's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel.
inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. you crying, sweetheart?
because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. I guess I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. I don't feel drunk. Sometimes people need you though. Even when they don't admit it.
You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought, I thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't, I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Don't... Don't worry about it. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. Or like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? Two against one. But you wouldn't take any shit from them. I'd be dead if you hadn't thrown that bottle. You inspired me. What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. 
I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you.
No one steals from me. I want my fucking money! <laughs>